Let's talk about Revit phase filters and phase graphic overrides. I'll talk about how to control these settings so that we make our floor plans and our demo plans in Revit look the way we want them to look. So we'll start with our first floor plan, our proposed floor plan, and we can see that the phase is new construction and the phase filter is set to show previous plus new. So up in our phasing dialog, under phase filters, we see show previous plus new, and it's got this list of display characteristics for different items that might be in our plan. So new is by category. By category is gonna be controlled by visibility graphics. That's probably the dialog you're most familiar with. And that is gonna be anything that's new in the new construction phase. Anything that's existing is gonna be overridden. And that's gonna be handled here on this graphic overrides tab, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then anything that's demolished or temporary will be not displayed because we don't want those things showing in our new construction plans. That'll be in our demo plan. So let's get out of this and we'll look at our new construction plan. If we go to visibility graphics, and I come down to walls, anything I set here is going to affect the new construction, which you can see right now is shown as dark. So if I set the pattern to be solid, I set the color to be bright yellow, that's going to affect only the new construction walls. And our existing walls have this hatch, which is gonna be set by the phase filter and the graphic overrides. So if we come back into our phases, phase filter, we see show previous plus new, existing is overridden. If we come to graphic overrides, we see existing has all these settings right here. And then the pattern will be set by this. So these are the same kind of settings you see in visibility graphics. They're just controlled in a different place based on what the phase is and what the phase filter is. So if I wanna change what my existing uh, walls and existing items look like in a new construction plan, I have to change the phase filter and the graphic overrides. So let's make that orange gravel. We'll hit okay, and that changes. The other setting you might typically use for phase filter is show complete. And in show complete, everything is gonna show as a visibility graphics because that is what the phase filter says, show complete, new and existing are shown by category. This is a view you might use maybe in schematic design where you wanna just show the final end product and you're not so concerned at that moment about differentiating between old and new. So let's reset and then look at our demo plan. So we already changed the existing to this orange gravel. You can see in the demo plan, our phases new construction, our phase filter is previous plus demo. So we come to phase filter, uh, show previous plus demo, new is not displayed, right? Because we haven't built it yet. Existing is overridden, which is the same override. And then demo is also overridden. So if we check out demo, it's this hidden line with this dash type. So we can change that to say blue, change the weight, do whatever we want to do, and that will change what our demoed items look like. You can also control the visibility of what's going on in 3D. So our 3D view is in new construction phase. We'll set the phase filter to be previous plus demo. So that's the 3D demo plan. You see it looks pretty terrible. And if you check out our graphic overrides again, you see there is actually materials that are assigned to these phases as well. And so you've got existing material is called phase existing and the demolished is called phase demo. So if we check out our materials and we search for phase, we see we've got phase demo, which is red, which makes sense, and then phase existing, which is this really dark gray color. So if we wanna make that something lighter so we can actually see things better, we'll just hit okay. And it changes to something that a little bit you know better visually. And then your existing plan, uh, the phase filter doesn't really matter too much because as we talked about, Everything in this phase is new to the existing phase. And so you pretty much set how you want it to look uh, basically just with visibility graphics. So we can make that orange and solid and uh, visibility graphics is basically we're gonna control what your existing plans look like when they're in the existing phase. And one last tip. So I've set my existing back to something that's a little bit more reasonable. And it's helpful to also make a filled region. So this is a legend, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But I've got a filled region that's called existing that matches the same uh, color and hatch pattern that I use for existing. And that's helpful if you have to uh, you know, fake something or just draft something that you mean to be existing. It's good to have a filled region that matches those settings in your project. If you found this video helpful, please visit hyperfinearchitecture.com slash Revit to learn more about the professional courses I offer. I teach about how to use Revit for residential architecture projects. I've got one pro course that's about new construction, basically everything you need to do to model and document this house from the ground up. 
and this video is taken from the second course I'm working on. It's a little bit more advanced. We talk about some more real world issues like documenting existing conditions, creating demo plans, schematic design, uh, project templates, project file management, keynotes, and basically construction document type of issues.